Are you missing out on huge time-saving functionality in Microsoft 365 Copilot by not utilizing the new version of Outlook? In this video, I'm gonna answer that question for you. Welcome to Microsoft 365 in 5, our new video series designed to cut to the chase and answer all of your Microsoft 365 questions. If you've got a question that you'd like me to answer in the next video, please drop a comment. Quick introduction, my name is Matt and I run a company called Labyrinth Technology. We help empower businesses with their IT, Microsoft 365, and cybersecurity. You can find a link to my LinkedIn profile in the video description. Let's face it, a lot of us have been putting off the move to use the new version of Microsoft Outlook. That's because it's very different, and until recently, it has not supported some fundamental functionality like using shared mailboxes. But soon, Microsoft will be forcing everybody to use the new version of Outlook. So what are you missing out on with Microsoft 365 Copilot in the new version of Outlook? Let's do a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, here is my Microsoft Outlook window, and I'm using the classic version of Outlook here. And you can see that in the top right-hand corner because try the new Outlook is toggled to off. If you'd like to try the new version of Outlook, all you have to do is give that a click and it will relaunch Outlook using the new version. So I've opened up this email and I would like to summarize it, cut to the chase. So I'm gonna hit the summarize button. Here we go, and it's effectively given me four bullet points, really cutting to the chase. Here's when the deal runs from, here's what the offer is, and here's what the other parts of the offer are. So um, that has saved me a couple of minutes having to read through this whole email in detail. What I could also do from here is reply to the email. So if I hit reply all, so now that I've clicked the reply window, I have a Copilot button at the top of the screen. If you click on that button, you get two options, coaching with Copilot, which as it says there, helps you to write better emails. And then you have draft with Copilot, which is actually gonna draft the email for you using AI. So let's click on draft with Copilot. So there is some pretty cool Copilot functionality in the classic version of Microsoft Outlook, but what are we missing out on in the new version of Outlook? Let's take a look. I am now using the new version of Microsoft Outlook, and I can see in the top right that new Outlook is toggled to on. First thing you'll notice is that you've got this Copilot button in the top right that you do not have in the classic version of Outlook, and that brings up the Microsoft 365 chat window. So if I press that button, I'll see here, I have got some prompts that I can use um, and a chat window, something that you just do not have in the classic version of Outlook. You can ask it to find an email for you. So let's say, find me all emails from Pizza Express. Here we go. So it has found the 10 most recent emails that I have received from Pizza Express. If I'd like to open any of those emails, you'll see the little references here. So it's summarizing the emails and then it's referencing which email it was. I can just click on that little number to open up the email if I'd like to have a look. So I've then got some prompts here. Um, any recent promotions? Show me emails with discounts. So let's click on any recent promotions and see what that comes up with. You could also ask it to create you an inbox role. So it's popped up with an inbox rule. It hasn't actually been able to completely create the rule yet because I don't actually have a Pizza Express folder created, but you get the idea of what it can do. If you scroll back to the top here, you get a few prompts. So we've got, help me set my out of the office reply. Um, so you can just click on that and ask it to set the out of office reply, what you'd like the message to be. If I scroll back down, you can also ask it to organize a meeting with someone and that will look at their calendar, look at your calendar and work out the next a suitable time. So let's say organize a meeting with my colleague, Wesley Gregory. Okay, and that's found a time that we're both available at nine o'clock this morning. So I can click on send if I'm happy with that appointment and go ahead and send it, or I can click on edit if I'd like to look at some other times. You can also ask it questions. So if I asked it, what is the GDPR? it is actually going to look at both my emails and the web. Now, I just want it to find information from the web. So I'm going to say, what is the GDPR? Please only use the web as an information source. Okay, so that has given me an answer from the web and I can see the references here. This time I'm going to ask it a question about Microsoft 365 price changes and it's going to look in my emails and on the web. Okay, so it's broken it down into from your company, 
and I can see some of the recent discussions we've had about Microsoft pricing internally, and then it's separated out what it's found on the web about Microsoft 365 price changes. So we're really just scratching the surface here with some of the functionality, but the big difference is you get this Microsoft 365 chat window. You can search for emails, you can ask for questions about your emails, and you can use it to help you get organized. You can use it like a PA, ask it to book meetings, ask it questions about your emails, and that is incredibly useful. Thank you for watching our Microsoft 365 in five video. I hope I answered your question. Please subscribe so you don't miss the next video in the series. And if you found this useful, please give the video a thumbs up or drop us a comment with your feedback.